you ready for the vinyl countdown? Hey you guys, welcome back to the vinyl countdown. I'm Peaches. What's going on? <laughs> the weekend is over pretty much, right you guys? Let's send it out with a bang right here on the vinyl countdown. I tell you what guys, I'm a little thirsty. Have you guys ever seen this? You may not because this stuff is bottled straight out of Wisconsin. It's called Sprecker's. Sprecker's Soda Company. I am telling you, if you guys get a chance to try some of their stuff, man, you have got to try it. They have, I have in the refrigerator, not in the refrigerator right now, three different styles of their soda. We got the cream soda, we got the cherry cola, which is my absolute favorite. We just discovered it a little while ago. And this one is called uh, Puma Cola. Totally awesome, loving it, you guys. Really nice, special homemade microbrew soda. Best I've ever had in my life. Oh, that is yummy, the cola. Ooh. So what's going on? I'm telling you, you guys, we scored some pretty nice stuff this weekend. And not only did we score some pretty nice stuff, we scored one of our biggest giant grails this weekend that we have been looking for for absolutely forever, for like two years now. Just stumbled upon it in the wild. So we'll talk about that. But before that, let's get to all of the stuff that we found this weekend that I cannot wait to show you guys right here on the Vinyl Countdown, all right? Let's get to it. All right, first up on the docket. This is a compilation that uh, Mrs. Peach has ran into, and she loves her compilations, especially these awesome 80s compilations. And this one is called Sound System from k -Tel. Yeah. You can't beat some of those KTEL cops, man. I'm serious. They are pretty popular. Look at that cool artwork on there. Yeah, you can totally tell that this is an 80s one, you guys. Look at that art. Bright, colorful. There's the lineup on the back. Yeah, including none other than Mr. Roboto. Yeah, it makes the whole compilation worth it right there, you guys. Yeah, Mr. Roboto from Styx. For sure. All right. Next, I'm up on the list. You guys, I'm serious. Okay, you know how we love the 80s. And I told you many times so far that when we run into an 80s album from any artist, really, in that pop genre, if it's in awesome shape, we're going to grab it if the price is right. Yeah. So here's one. I could not pass it up, you guys. I could not pass it up. Why? Because this this artist and this song was on the top of the charts for many, many, many weeks, probably. And not only that, I think they still play the heck out of this song on the radio today on most, uh, you know, today's hits and yesterday's favorites type genre radio stations. And it is Bruce Hornsby. Yeah, you guys remember that song? The way it is? Yeah, that's just the way it is. Do lit, do lit, do lit. <laughs> Man, I can't tell you how many times I've heard that song on the radio. They play, play it forever and ever. Yeah, a bunch of other really good songs on there. I haven't had a chance to throw it on and actually reminisce yet, but man. This thing is in, there's just a tiny little, tiny little ding in that corner, man. But I'm telling you, other than that, this record looks like the day you bought it, you guys. For sure. So yeah, that Bruce Hornsby, definite part of the 80s, man. Top of the radio chart, man. All right, here's one. You know we love our obscure metal, right? Here is a group. They are Danish. I think they're from Denmark, and uh, yeah, Karsten in my analog corner, you might know these guys, I'm not sure, but 80s hair metal, 
80s metal for sure, you guys. And this band is called Feet. Yeah, you can tell just by looking at the cover, you guys, that you're going to be running into some 80s good stuff. Yeah. Somewhere around that St. Elmo's Fire region. <laughs> These guys sound like they could do some of the movie stuff for sure. What was the name of that? Uh, oh, A Matter of Attitude. Wow, there's a, there's a shot of the back, you guys. I'm not real familiar, but this is, like I said, it's, it's on the edge of metal. On, you know, going from rock into metal a little bit. And it's from, you know, that mid-80s. Mid-80s, man. And uh, we threw it on, and I was like, yeah, Mrs. Peaches liked it. I liked it. And uh, it's going in the cabinet, you guys. So, yeah, the band Fate. From, from what I understand, Denmark. All right? Now, here's another rather obscure piece, you guys. And I knew nothing about it. But, man, I am telling you, once you get into this, you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe it. Here, let me, let me show you here. This group is called Surgeon. Gold Stamp Promo. <laughs> Rewind, let's do that again, right guys? Gold Stamp Promo! Yeah! All right, so this band Surgeon, right? Kinda hard rock, going into that metal thing. Never heard of them, but guess what, you guys? There is a guy in this group. I believe his name is Jack Ponty. All right, are you guys familiar with that guy? Okay, from what I understand, just by getting this, you read up on it and you wouldn't believe it, okay? This Jack Ponty guy is from New Jersey, right? Well, it just so happens that this guy, this Jack Ponty, was in a band with none other than John Bon Jovi before John Bon Jovi made his own band. And there was a lot going on in New Jersey at that time. You had a lot of top performers like uh, the, the Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band and all that stuff. And, you know, there was a lot of, of, of good musicianship coming out of that place, right? Well, I guess this Jack Ponty... The, that band dispersed the one that him and John Bon Jovi were in. John Bon Jovi went on to make an obviously huge career for himself. And then this Jack Ponty got involved with literally tons and tons of different 80s bands. And he was gaining this giant resume of being like a producer, songwriter, having all kinds of influences in that music in that musical community, right? And then later on in his career, got super heavily involved with my favorite band, Skid Row. And then uh, shortly after that, in 1991, retired, I guess, um, after this super huge uh, career in the music industry. So, yeah, look up that Jack Ponty guy from this band called Surgeon. Yeah, they made this album, and then I guess they broke up right away and disbanded. And then came back way later and made a couple of other things. But I think this might be from 1985, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. But the band Surgeon. You know, kind of a hard rock going into metal. 80s style, for sure. I think you guys might enjoy that if you like uh, that stuff I'm talking about, right? All right. And then you guys, next up. Let me grab another sip. I'm getting so thirsty lately. Oh, this Wreckers hits the spot. And no, I'm not getting paid to say that. <laughs> For all you guys that think I'm monetizing and all that. Um, we have passed up this record so many times in the wild so far. Because I really we haven't found a, a, a decent enough copy of it. But then when we struck when we struck this one in the record store, man, I'm telling you, it was looking pretty darn nice. Put it on the record player, and I love it. And it's Lita Ford. Woo! Look at that, you guys. Yep, another Lita Ford album to add to the uh, add to the collection. 
Well, this was after she went out on her own, and she had a pretty darn good career, I'd have to say. Nice, Lita Ford. I'm not even showing you guys these labels. Yeah, it's the, bas the basic Mercury. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Cherry Bomb. You guys hear that? Yeah, that's a Japanese pressing we got uh, last week. Pretty good. All right. Okay, we're in that same record store, right, you guys? Up next here. And we ran into something that I never run into. I might see one of these albums once in a great while, usually kind of beat up, usually don't grab it because of that reason. But man, all of a sudden, all in one spot, here these three records were. And they're all from one band, and they are all in amazing shape. What band is it, you guys? It's Petra. Check it out. Never seen this in the wild before. Not one time. Which one is that from Petra? Oh, captured somewhere. Or captured in time and space. And this is a double album. Here's a look at the back. Yeah, you know that Christian rock group? Christian kind of rock slash metal group from back in the 80s? Got two original inners, you guys. And if you reach inside of here, there's some special pamphlet it came with. And it's like kind of like this special message pamphlet thing from the band Petra. And then it kind of folds open, like a kind of like a tourist thing. And you got all kinds of information inside there from Petra. And there's a little uh, little order form type deal here. I don't know if it's for donating stuff. I haven't really looked at it too close. Like donating money to a charity or something. And there's a look at the back of the pamphlet. And I'm imagining because it was inside that it, it actually came with the record. So that's pretty cool. Petra, I'm telling you, they have some of the most awesome artwork on their on their uh, albums that that it just blows my mind actually here I'll pull off I'll take out one of those inners like I said there's two inners because there's two records it's a double record set and then even even the awesome awesome custom labels that they got for their records man so colorful so 80s right up my alley and like I told you guys man I'm serious this record it looks basically almost like the day you bought it brand new so we go from that one and then we move on to the next one that we found here I actually have another copy of this in the cabinet which is the only Petra album that I own okay uh, well did own <laughs> and yeah you pull this out you guys and I'm telling you you might as well have just taken the cellophane off of it Beautiful artwork. Just amazing. Really nice pictures on there. And then we got just a minty, minty inner there, you guys. I'll pull that out. Flip her around. Just all the written information on there and lyrics and stuff. And then that. Not as qu not quite as much fun on that label. <laughs> But still, still a very nice setup. Petra was always really cool with their artwork on there. Scoot that back in there, you guys. And then, we have a third one. And this one is, uh, not of this world. Like I said, another circumstance here. You guys, it might as well be the day you bought it brand new. Just pull the cellophane off this bad boy. It's got a beautiful shine on it. Very consistent, very awesome artwork once again, you guys. I can't, I can't get over it. Their albums are just beautiful. And then you open up this one, right? Got the inner, and there's the original pamphlet. 
pamphlet order form that came with it. Probably for merch and stuff and all that. And then there's a chest yeah, says not of this world on there. Just really meant to you guys. There's the there's the inner inner sleeve. And then look, there's that beautiful artwork again. Just a beautiful label in there. Some of the best I've ever seen. So yeah, three beautiful Petra records. Just some sweet, sweet stuff. And that's, once again, you guys, that's on the Christian rock metal genre. You know, going from Christian rock kind of into metal, depending on how late you get in their career. For sure. All right, we'll set that one aside. <laughs> then we got a couple of movie soundtracks, you guys. Check this out. The Vinyl Victim, I like this one. Mrs. Pizza stumbled upon this one over in the uh, in the soundtrack section. Can't go wrong, must have for your collection if you like soundtracks. Young Guns too. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, there's a big picture of John Bon Jovi on the back. Blaze of Glory, love that song. This thing's in really, really nice shape too, you guys. It's super shiny. Young Guns too. I love the original movie. You gotta see the size of that chicken. <laughs> oh, and here's another one. I can't believe she found this. You guys. Sylvester Stallone in Over the Top. <laughs> I am telling you, man. And can you believe it? Can you believe it? A soundtrack, right? Soundtrack. Keep that in mind. Good step promo! <laughs> can you believe it? A, a, a soundtrack that's a gold stamp promo. This is really odd. Really odd, you guys. Okay. And the song on here to beat, man, for sure. Kenny Loggins, meet me halfway across the sky. If you have ever in your life wanted to hear an awesome, just a beautiful, awesome tearjerker theme song from a movie, yeah, it would definitely be Kenny Loggins, meet me halfway. Just an awesome, awesome song. Yeah, this was right about around about that time when Kenny Loggins was doing a ton of stuff in the in the movie industry. For like uh, these soundtracks. You remember Top Gun? Yeah. You remember Footloose? Yeah. Big, big, big time soundtracks. Kenny Loggins was involved in a ton of them. And they were probably the biggest movies of the 1980s. For sure. Alright. So glad to have that one. There's a ton of other really good songs on here too. If you guys ever want to check it out. There's that lineup on that side. There's that lineup on that side. Oh no, I got some just uh, stuff from the movie in there. <laughs> that would be so funny. You want an arm wrestle? <laughs> and then, okay, here's one, you guys. Next up, let me grab another step. Ooh. Here is something that we never run into in the wild. I, I tell you, of two years of looking around, you guys know we are a huge fans of hair metal. And in all the time that we've been running around, we have never ran into one of these rat <laughs> in the shrink still. Yeah, this thing is like the day you bought it brand new, you guys. Definitely gonna be an upgrade for our, our collection. You got yeah, there's the price tag that was ripped off. It probably uh, something like Montgomery Wards or Kmart or something. And then there's the hype sticker, still in the shrink. Never, ever, ever seen a rat album in this condition. It's still in the shrink. They are usually just absolutely beat off. We see them all over the place, but a lot of times they are just pickled. There's the inner, 
I, I'm telling you guys, from what I'm seeing, it looks like the day you bought it. There's the other side. And the thing that's really nice about this too, you guys, not only is it a rat album in the shrink, but it's that black color. You know, when you're going out and looking at uh, records and you're always trying to find, you know, that, that record from your favorite artist that has a black album cover, most of the time you're really going to see the ring wear coming in really fast. You're going to see a lot of like the damage that you wouldn't normally see on other colored records. But, you know, the black is so hard, so hard to get in pristine condition. So, man, yeah, that one is definitely going to be, we already had this album, but definitely going to be an upgrade for for the uh, collection, especially with that hype sticker and, and just being just as black as can be with no flaws in it, no scrapies and scratchies. All right, you guys, up next. I had the tw I have the twelve inch version or the twelve inch single from this album. Um, yeah, I have a single twelve inch single from this album, and it, it's called "The Look," and it's by the group Rock Set. We finally found, like I told you guys, we're eighties freaks. So I ran across this album with Mrs. Peaches at an antique mall, and I'm telling you. Once again, it looks like the day you bought it brand new. Super shiny, super awesome condition. I would have to call this album near mint all the way through. And I'm telling you, I love this band, this group, Rock Set. There are three radio, giant radio hits on this album. We'll get, get you a look at that lineup. Okay, right there, you guys. Do you remember Rock Set? They have another album that I am dying to find, and it's called Joyride. Yeah, it was, uh, I think it was after this one. But uh, never seen it in the wild, and boy, we are jonesing to find it. Yeah, it's called Joyride by Roxette, their other album. But on this one, man, I'm telling you, the look, uh, big radio hit, big radio hit. And then you have... Uh, Dangerous, yeah, she's a little bit dangerous. Definitely a huge radio hit. Oh, and then you have that song, Listen to Your Heart. Listen to Your Heart, man. That was another huge radio hit uh, uh, for Roxette. That song, Listen to Your Heart, might as well, from what I can tell, might as well have been done from the band Heart because it's in their total rockin' style with the female vocals and the heavy guitars, really heavy rock. Yeah, on that on that one, listen to your heart. Great tune. Rock set, you guys. Get this one if you love 80s stuff. It's a dandy. And if anybody finds that rock set, yeah, you'll get my address. <laughs> the one, uh, that other album that they have, uh, Joyride. <laughs> You can send that one to me. Oh, this one I cannot show you guys, okay? Because this is a present for someone. Whoops. <laughs> it's a present for someone, and it's a Japanese pressing. So, yeah, this one's going out for VCLT. I wish I could show you right now because it's so cool. It's so cool, but I can't. All right, you guys. And for the grand finale, I'm telling you, this record that I have right in front of me right here has been on our list for two years as one of our top grails that we thought would never, ever, ever be found in the wild. We were at one of our local watering holes, you guys. We're going through their used section, and their used section has no organization to it other than alphabetical. So you might run into a ton of different things. You know, it might be Lawrence Welk to the Eurythmics to Metallica to, you know, anything you can think of. Bruce Springsteen all in the same in the same pile. So you don't know what you're going to run into. So I run through, I'm skipping from here to there to my favorite letters like a lot of people do. And I end up at the beginning with the A's and then I go through the A's, the B's, the C's and then I get to the D's. And I'm like, Right at the front, right, I go through one, two, three, four, 
It was probably the sixth record that I was flipping through, and I looked, and I just about passed out, you guys. Here it is. <coughs> Man. I can't believe we have this. And not only do we have it, it is basically the day you bought it condition, brand new looking, near mint, still in the shrink. Here we go, are you ready? It's none other than Dangerous Toys. Unbelievable, you guys. Still in the shrink, still minty. Corners are great. Yeah, do you guys remember this group? If you were an 80s metal person going into the 90s, you definitely are going to want this one in your collection from Dangerous Toys. There are the first two songs on here say it all, you guys. Yeah, Tease Him, Please Him, and Scared. First two tracks on there. This record. It might as well be solid gold to us here because it, it is so rare, so hard to come by, and like I said, it's like brand, brand new. If you don't know who they are, you gotta do a little research, you guys. But they are an absolute must-have member of the 80s hair metal collection. Unbelievable. Super blessed to have this, you guys. Well, all right, there we have it. Thank you guys for coming down to the Vinyl Countdown again. I'm Peaches, and I'm looking forward to many, many more episodes. And I hope you guys loved all your VCLT that we sent out. It's still, the train is still running, you guys. We got a couple more we're gonna send out here pretty soon. So you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Just close your eyes for the rest of the week, and then Friday will come soon enough, all right? We'll see you later.